My name is Taylor McKenzie and I'm an addict, a mobile phone addict. My challenge was to survive seven days with no phone, no internet connection and no social media. If I was successful in doing it, McLaren Glasgow said they'd let me loose in one of their supercars. I don't know when my addiction started, but from the moment my alarm goes off in the morning, I receive a constant barrage of calls, texts, emails and social media notifications. And I realised I needed to do something about it. I can't lie, I had no idea how I was going to survive a week with no phone. I had so many people tell me it was impossible for me to be successful, which only made me more determined to prove them wrong. And with that, it was time to embark on this journey of self-discovery en route to a childhood dream of driving a McLaren supercar. I feel nervous about doing this, but this is my phone and I'm going to switch it off. I don't know why I'm so nervous that no one is going to contact me for a week. So the Apple Watch is also going off. They're in the glove box and they're going to stay there. We're currently just above Carlisle. Annandale Water, that's the services we're at. No, we're at Abington. I'm already lost. Up the M6, M74, M73, M80. To our first destination. I'm on the easiest part of this journey. All I've got to do is get up the M6. And it's already proven difficult. I've just missed the turning. Ah, okay. So He's to... lost again. I'm not lost yet. <laughs> Might be a little lost. And this is Dune Castle. It's what we are most, most famous for here. Not only was this Neil Mackenzie's house, but before that, it was actually the place where they filmed the Monty Python Holy Grail, which previous to Game of Thrones being filmed here. Next issue, that map forgot to tell me that we were going to hit a traffic jam. But now I'm nervous that we're going to miss the hotel. This is a terrible idea. So this first place we're staying at is an actual working farm. And my Spanish helper here is excited to see Highland Cows for the first time. I think that's going to be the first point of the trip where boredom may set in without having a phone. First day, no phone. I think I've become so obsessed with my phone and social media and work and doing more and more, and working faster and harder that you forget to just see what's around you. I feel like I'm having some weird hippie epiphany. Next thing I'll be talking to animals. Night mate. See you tomorrow. This morning I woke up, rolled over, went to check my phone, there's no phone which is a strange feeling. I definitely slept better last night. I don't know whether that's just because I'm in Scotland in the middle of nowhere and it's quiet, or if it's because I didn't check my phone just before I went to sleep. The second feeling is this feeling of disconnect from the world and you just feel like you don't know what's going on, but I don't think it's a particularly bad thing. The one thing I'm definitely learning you can't live without is Google Maps and Maps applications because how you know how long it takes you to get anywhere, I have no idea. We have this ferry at three o'clock today and I can see on the map that it looks like, well, I don't know how many miles it looks like, and I have no idea how long it's gonna take us to get there. So that's annoying, but I can live without it. I must say, there's also an overwhelming feeling of joy by not having my phone. I have this constant weird feeling inside me that I need to check my phone. And I didn't realize this the sort of tension that that has in my body the whole time, and that's gone within 24 hours. Don't know how I'm gonna last a week without checking it, but. I need to because I need to drive this McLaren and I'm not going to give in that easily. But yeah, it's definitely having a positive effect. Yeah. <laughs> Call me Bill Oddie. <laughs> Night in, no phone. It's resorted in actually playing cards and talking to each other. Doing nothing. <laughs> Having no phone, I've become less bored. And it is the weirdest paradox, is that the right word? I thought I would turn my phone off and I would be the most bored I've ever been in my life. You actually start filling your time with things that you should be doing having time to think, reading a book, tidying your bedroom. Technology companies have all made us addicted to our phones, addicted to having a dopamine hit. You realize you don't need that. It's all fake. As another example of that today, I've gone to go up Ben Nevis. My thought was, oh my God, I can't put it on Strava. And then you think, why? 
Why does it need to go on Strava? Who cares? I'm going up Ben Nevis without Strava. We'll never know how fast it was. I hope that's the top. We don't know. But look at the view. little bit to go. Drama. Lost is a strong word. I'd say that I was exploring Scotland more than I'd originally anticipated. There's a chance now that I'm not going to make it to this dealership on time. And I've waited five days of no phone to get to this point to drive the car and I only have today to pick the car up because tomorrow we're going again. I refuse yeah. to give in. We've come this far in the project of turning my phone off that it feels wasted to cheat and turn it on. He's big like he's so mad. I don't know why. No sé por qué. Estoy enfadado cuando hablo en español. Quiero hablar más fácil y suave si quieres. No, because now you look like pasivo agresivo. <laughs> There was two more important parts of this journey to go. The first was driving this McLaren supercar around the Scottish Highlands, and the second was switching my phone back on once I'd given the car back. My initial joy of turning my phone off was suddenly turned into dread as I thought about my phone coming back on. I had no idea whether I'd have 10 notifications or 300, but there was only one way to find out later on. Doing a tour of UK Harry Potter sites, and I believe the Glasgow University was on there. It's about as close to a university as I've ever got. That's why I make YouTube videos. But I'm good. I'm honestly nervous. I don't really get nervous about many things, but I'm nervous about this. Today's the day we made it. Five days with no phone. Do you know what I'm actually going to do? Is I'm just going to leave my phone in the glove box of my car and I'm drive this car now for two days. And just enjoy the car. I can't walk after going up Ben Nevis. My knee's giving up. I think it's under the black sheet. This is the McLaren GT. It's four litre V8. It makes 612 horsepower. It does 203 mile an hour. This car specifically is Vega blue. It has black leather interior, has red calipers, and it comes in just shy of 200,000 pounds. I've also just eaten cornflakes in my room out of a mug to save money on breakfast because it's 12 pound 50 for breakfast in here. So, I'll talk you through turning this car on. Down here is the engine start button. Different modes down here. This side adjusts all the power settings. This side adjusts the suspension. Drive, neutral, reverse. It's got flappy paddle shift. And then to open the door, this is up. You push it out. They say money can't buy happiness, but it can buy cars with doors that do this. And that makes me happy. My favorite feature of this whole car is when you turn it on, And then this next button. <laughs> it sounds like this. First world supercar problems. Not easy to park a supercar in Edinburgh, I've learned. Absolutely. Have we got space? Well, I think it's our only option, to be honest. Park. No, no. That was Ben Nevis. <laughs> This week really just started as a bit of fun for me. I wanted to see how long I could last with turning my phone off. I thought I might last 24 hours, maybe two days at a push. I definitely didn't think I'd do five days and I really didn't think I would get to the end of five days and not want to turn it back on. From the moment I wake up to the second I go to sleep, my life is dictated by my phone and I've realized I need to take back control. But before I show you my phone turning back on, it's time to go enjoy driving this McLaren supercar. This is the reason I've waited five days with no phone. I feel like I'm on a place that 
they should get it. <laughs> Obviously, we're sticking to national speed limits at all times. Crazy that only did it 70 mile an hour there. <laughs> oh. The inner child in me is even more excited now because I've just discovered if you put it in neutral and rev it, it makes an amazing noise. So the first set of traffic lights I get to, I'll make it make the noise. You know that person that revs a car and you think, what an idiot, I can't believe he just sat there revving his car. Mm. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm about to turn my phone back on after seven days of having it off and I'm a little bit nervous about turning it back on. I've got no idea if I've even got any messages. Maybe I won't. I can also show you my screen time to show you that I did have it off for seven days. Here we go. If you remember, it was in here. Now, this is the moment of truth. Who knows what's going to happen? Oh my god! <laughs> no, make it stop! Oh my god! Screen time. There you go. T Mac out. <laughs> <laughs>